raining in China really but don't worry because today we're going indoor velodrome hell yeah keep way too boysy too boysy what just an excuse hey now where are you where are you where are you Anna where are you we miss you already Boys and girls, today's a bit different. Hi. Good afternoon, beautiful people. We're going indoor. Today is the come and try day. Uh, Dan and Glenn, they don't have a track bike, so we're gonna grab a bike now. Hundred percent. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Well, it's track day. Gotta be skin suit, mate. I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> What's <laughs> you <Rookie> mistake? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know your your is built for crate and track? Do I know this? Yeah. Well, that's why I'm here, mate. Um, I'm too heavy to go up hills, so I thought maybe, maybe if I go around in circles. On a flat track, I'll be okay. Tex asked me, Dad, ride, big ride, before I left. And I said, oh, yeah, not, just, not, just... not really. He said, Dad's gonna go and ride around in circles. Yeah. He's like, what? <laughs> big as you think, Jesus. Uh, let's try it. If you want the smaller one, we can get you on the smaller one. Coach, please give him the slowest bike possible. The slowest one? That's yes. Get... The white wheels are the slowest. <laughs> Oh yes, That's, that looks like 20 go. kilos. That's me. Yep. Yeah, so I probably need three other people to help me with this. It's <laughs> just whack your leg over there, bottom foot in the, on just on top of the pedal. I've got you. Yeah, if you want to go shorter, let me know. Just whack your hands in the drops as well. I got you. How's that's not, not too bad yeah. actually. Yeah, see how they run a bit shorter? Yep. yep. That's all right. I think that's smack on. Boom. All right. Good. Yep. Pop down to Andy and he'll make sure your tyre pressure's right. We stick about 100 psi in those. Uh, I'm a tad shorter than Dan. I reckon you're a tad shorter. You might get on that side. Right? If you just wax that left foot on first. And just wax it on a little bit. Andy. How's that feel? Bad. The million dollar question is why do we want to ride velodrome? First of all, it's quite safe. Uh, as in there's no cars, it's a fixed gear indoor velodrome, you're going around circles, you really pick up good skills of how to ride a bicycle properly. Everyone has aluminium heels brake track bike, and I've got this bloody Cervelo T4, full blown carbon wheels. Um, today that is really important, it's about maintaining your minimum speed once you get up onto the boards okay so just to give you some sense of how steep we're talking here 43 degree banking at the at the highest but that that steepness is the same at the bottom as it is at the top all right so that's the psychology bit it's a bit scarier at the top but it's still on the same angle um, so that maintenance of speed is really really important we want to keep the pressure on the pedal so you might hear me repeat things a lot like pressure on the pedals, it just means keep pedaling. Um, we do everything smoothly. We communicate with each other. If you need to go around someone, just say passing. If you need to change direction, try and do it slowly and predictably so that everyone uh, can manage around it. But um, we'll be keeping an eye on that. My helpers for the day, Andy. Andy, Andy Dick, uh, long time track cyclist. Andy's ridden uh, in the US uh, back in the day. He does our motor pacing sessions as well, so he can handle a motorbike around here. Um, he might give you some tips uh, as he's going past. He'll also be a bit of a pace setter. And Lockie. Lockie's um, one of our riders from the junior development squad. Um, good experience on the track uh, for his age, so uh, don't discount that. Um, he will be there as a pace setter as well, but mainly for the younger guys and maybe the guys that have raced a bit more. So I, I 
I recognise that a few people here have raced and a few people haven't had anything like that experience. So I'm going to take the novice group um, first, um, but we might get a couple of riders up uh, just in groups of uh, three. So one, two, three. Yep. Okay, then I'll get Andy at four, five, six, seven. All right, so you'll be sort of working in Andy. So we're on FCC. We're following Andy. This is awesome. Um, in the velodrome, it's there's no wind at all. But now we're feeling we can feel the wind. So that just proves the aerodynamic really works because you are really cutting through the wind. The bank is 45 degrees, I already feel like this is so steep. And now we're stuck going a little bit higher. Back down. Okay, after a few laps, feeling more confident now because back it off at the straight. And then when you're at the bank, really keep the pressure on. Round two. So during what round one? Nothing. <laughs> so during round one, I want to finish the recording. I'll try to push the button. Naturally, my two feet like try to balance because one hand off the bar. So I'll try to get the balance, push the button, stop recording, and forgot this is fixed gear. I could end so bad. Almost got thrown off my bike. Something gotta get used to, eh? Hashtag a newbie. Uh, you're uh, with Footscray as well? Yeah, Footscray Cycling Club. Oh, yeah. mate. Footscray. Footscray. And Footscray. 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 All, Footscray. all the way. All yes. the way. I was shaking going around the first few. Up the track, it's steep. Very steep. So um, the, the first time I came here with that veteran group, they came here Tuesdays and uh, Fridays. They, we were riding around and said, okay, we're going up the top. And I can tell you, it was like, I don't like roller coasters. Yeah. It was like that, you know, when you come yeah. out. Yep. I had a good grip on the seat. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you been riding track? Oh, all my life I've ridden the track. Yep. I was originally Coburg. So I was a member of Coburg when they built that track. They used to have a bitumen track way, way back. What's the best advice for newbies? Keep, keep going fast. Keep going fast. Yeah. yeah. I think my problem is trying to like slowing down. I forget, you know, when you, you start slowing down, you kind of get that jolt of your legs. Oh yeah, well what you can do, you, what you can do when you're confident on the track, you use the track. Yeah. You just drift up a little bit. You'd be surprised you only have to drift this far and it'll slow you down. Yeah. Because there you're you go. going, going further. Yeah. yeah. The you gravity drag it down. Drop down. Yeah. Hot tips. Yeah. Did you did you notice I was trying to show you when we got on the blue, mm. there's a sweet line around the track. You come around just above the blue. We actually, to do it properly, you go just below the blue and you go above the blue about a metre here yep. and then you come back in on the bend and it's actually like riding around the bottom. You don't go... Uh, oh, yeah. when you, if, you stay, if you stay on the blue, it's, it's, you, you've got yes. to work a bit. Yes. You've got to work a bit. You can feel it. Yeah. It's good exercise, but yeah, if you find that sweet spot... First impression. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Proper <Yeah>. love it. <laughs> you got a yeah. It's not too late. <laughs> It's fun, but you really have to concentrate. I noticed I was just focusing on the line, focusing on just looking around the bend. Um, but first, first dozen laps, we'll get comfortable, I hope. Um, good fun. Nice. Once you started getting up above that blue line a little bit, that's when, like, do a couple of laps like that, and then you just, just get so much more familiar with it. And you're like, yeah. But not, I dare say, once we get up the top, nice. looking down, go, oh my God. I've got this one. You don't want to scratch the tyres. So this is like a Scotch Bride. Oh yeah. But, you know, if we if we had we had the we had the uh, white spirits, it really brings the rubber up. Now I have grip. Well, yeah. no guarantee. No, no guarantee, mate. Yeah. I'm focusing on the right inside the tire. When you're um, getting too close to the wheel in front, you've got a number of options to back it off. In the straights, you can put resistance against your legs yep. and you'll start to stretch that gap a bit, which is where you want to do it. 
in the bends you really need to maintain the pressure on your pedals I don't want you adjusting your speed down through the bends yeah. I'd rather you take height okay by taking height washes some speed up off going up the track but you're also riding further which will mean you'll stretch that gap a bit try not to come underneath and the reason is twofold one because you're actually then riding a shorter distance you're going to overlap even more and if that person doesn't see you and drop down they can chop your wheel yep. all right so they're the things to um, think about but also um, just your technique you know in a crit when you go around a corner you know you're looking over there to where you want to go same thing here try and look 20 30 meters ahead yep. um, and relax the arms a bit just have a slight flex in those arms and you'll find you'll get around the corners nicely okay all right thank we'll, you we'll go again thank cool. you all right Elbow flick, right elbow, yep. Move up the track smoothly. Keep pedaling. Don't come past you. Go for the second wheel. Sick. Alright, just keep the pressure on the pedals, Nick, that's good. Yep. Touch your arms and drop in slowly. Yeah, good mate. Thank you. Good, we're getting better. Yeah. Just did some rolling turns then. So cool. Um, thought we had it pretty smooth. Yeah. Yeah. For some newbies. Yeah. I think early signs are pretty good. <sighs> yeah. Oh, right? Aren't we shooting for a gold medal here? <laughs> <laughs> Just come in next lap, and I'll explain what I'll get you to do. All right. Lockie's going to take you through an entry here. Basically, this is where you line up for a flying 200, right, with the marshals. When you get round there, it's three laps to go. Lockie will build your height up. You'll come off the bank eventually and take a line through here to the Flying 200. That's where the time starts. Now, all we're doing it for is to get used to the line, getting used to relax and keep good form. Space between you, follow Lockie's wheel. And Lockie, I reckon we just do it to the um, to turn three there, okay? Yeah. And then just back it off. Yeah. All right? Off you go. Three laps to go from the start finish line. Start building up speed, and they're really gonna sprint it. Dive down. Oh, sprinting. <laughs> yeah, you know, coach said we're gonna do the same. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jeff, yeah, it's brilliant. Um, he did his research before we even got here, so he knew uh, had a rough idea of our uh, capabilities on the bike, um, and then super clear instruction as we're going around, making uh, activities fun, um, and uh, no, feel comfortable and safe. Yeah, it's very clear, very thorough, very approachable, and even in his manner, he's super polite. I feel like you can ask him anything. Um, a very warm welcome once we got here. I really like that. Great bloke. Yeah.
champion bloke. Also a little uh, race series as well. Um, there's an Aces series that is on regularly through summer and they're going to do some stuff through winter as well and that's run by um, you know, Preston and Blackburn and Brunswick. Um, it's a good first level competition. Um, it's quite welcoming for new riders. If you come in and sign up on Entry Boss and you haven't raced before, as long as you tell the people around you that you haven't raced before, they'll look after you. Okay. It's competitive, but not at the extreme. So it's um, it's a good environment to get involved with. Um, my own opinion is that the track's safer than crits, all right? Because like I said, no one can uh, jam the brakes on uh, in the middle of a corner when you're on a track bike. Um, and those uh, younger people here that have experienced the track riding as well in Bendigo and, and regional Victoria um, will have a good feel for it as well. So hope you enjoyed the experience of the boards and uh, thanks for joining us today. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. You guys been riding track for a while or? Um, like one season. Yeah. Oh, one season? Yeah, How do yeah. you like it so far? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah? Yeah. No, uh, any just, advice? Uh, no, nah, just try it. It's fun. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. You come off today a little bit? Yeah. Uh, just... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How'd that happen? Uh, I was going too slow on the speed, like the drop over there. For this... Just um, go fast, guys. Just go yeah. fast. <laughs> You'll be yeah, alright. Don't go too slow. Yeah. yeah. That's advice around here. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Thank you. Uh, it was good to be out on the track with the young boy today. Usually I'm watching. This time um, got the heart rate up, so it was good fun. First, so, first time as well. First time on the track. It was good fun. Thank you very much. Awesome. <laughs>